grilled by senators on what went wrong on January 6th, security officials, including three that resigned following the Capitol insurrection, said missed intelligence was to blame. Crucially, a report from an FBI field office in Virginia detailing threats of violence. It was sent to Capitol Police the day before the riot, but the force's former chief, Stephen Sund, says he wasn't made aware of it. They received it the evening of the 5th, uh, reviewed it, and then forwarded it over to an official at the intelligence uh, division over at uh, U.S. Capitol Police headquarters. It's and so you hadn't seen it yourself? No, ma'am. It did not go any further than that. There was conflicting testimony, however, on the role of the National Guard. Sun said he had requested troops beforehand, but that he was turned down over concerns of how such a deployment would be viewed by the public, an account denied by the former House Sergeant at Arms. We did discuss whether the intelligence warranted having troops at the Capitol. That was the issue. And the collective judgment at that time was no, the intelligence did not warrant that. Also under scrutiny, the delayed deployment of the National Guard on the day of the riot. Once the Capitol was breached, it took roughly four hours for them to arrive. For some officials, the Department of Defense is largely to blame. I was just stunned uh, that, you know, I have officers that were out there literally fighting for their lives. And, you know, we're, we're kind of going through, you know, what seemed like a, an exercise to really check the boxes uh, and there was not an immediate response. Another Senate hearing is set to be held next week, featuring witnesses from the Departments of Defense and Homeland Security and the FBI.